And this looks like maybe a mess to some people, but if you've sat through the saw, then you'll be pretty good to go for any objectives in your RPG or whatever. Because this is, like I said, this is the system that I'm using for mine, and I'm, I'm pretty hard on myself, so um, should be pretty good for people. Uh, save, and I think that's all we need to do, um, but I'll probably find bugs knowing me, so um, let's go ahead and make a new trigger. Quest, one, return. And I'm not going to put anything in brackets, but say you had one more quest in this chain, you could do game two. And then you could do like, just like how I did in here and gave them another quest, you could add on a, another quest. And what you should do actually um, is you can put a little wait time. In in this one here, if you're gaining another quest, you could put a little wait, like uh, new action general wait. So that you could say that they completed the quest, you could text them their uh, their reward, like the immortal gives you 50 silver or minerals or whatever and then wait five seconds and then display another message he has another quest for you blah 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 and then give it to them or something like that just just so that there's a delay anyway so uh, actually I'm gonna copy from the original so the event for this new trigger is a unit enters a distance of two from immortal and let's copy the and condition as well and we want to check that it's a hero for sure and we also want to check that instead one Quest 1 and value 3 is 1, because we just set it to that here, meaning that they just finished the quest. And if so, if they are in here, we want to... Uh, let's copy all these from uh, the quest 0 complete. So set the quest values 1, 3 to equal 0, meaning this, this quest is over. And you're going to display the immortal rewards you with 10 minerals. It's a nice guy. And owner of trigger units, still fine. Now let's do a new action while we're on the way here. Player, modify player properties, modify player unit, owner of trigger unit, minerals, add 10. Perfect. And, well, I'm saying perfect a lot lately. That might be my new phrase. Usually it's oops, but anyways. Um, I'm going to destroy the quest for quest one for this player. And and I'm not sure if destroying it actually hides it. So when we destroyed it here, I might, I'm not sure if we have to hide it on top of it, but we'll find out in a sec. I forget. Um, and then what we're going to do is delete that and then change this text tag, destroy text tag. And let's destroy quest tags, function, unit, owner of tree, unit, one. So now the quest tag will be gone for this player. And one thing I didn't do actually, um, so it's set for player one. I hope it only shows for player one. If, it do, if it's showing for everybody, um, if it still does, sometimes there's errors or something, I know you can show and hide it so you could show it for only one player. Um, yeah, it should have been, should be okay. It should. I'm hoping that it's only displaying for the right player. Okay, and you could you know, um, because I don't actually mark the objective as complete. I just destroy it. You could play a sound. So like, play UI achievement for convert player to player group. Player group, uh, and once again unit owner tree unit, and you can just play that sound. And why don't we go ahead and game and see what the what this is going to turn out to be like. Okay, so we see I have a main objective here and I have a message displayed. And you can see the question mark above him. And now if I walk towards him... Oh, um, okay, this is an embarrassing bug. I realized I didn't put heroic on the archon, so um, let me go fix that quickly. So we did actually have to do some data editor stuff here. Um, find units, search for Archon, and I guess it's just because I assumed that most people would be doing this with a hero. So, flags, uh, let's make it a hero. Attributes, let's make him heroic. Okay, now let's go test. Okay, um, so now I'm going to try and walk towards him and let's see if the quest changes. Okay, it went gray, that's good. The mortal is a jerk and asks you to kill three zerglings, and this is updated, and we got the little description. So now let's go kill some. 
two zerglings left, it updated there. One zergling left, and now it says return to the immortal. And if you kill more, it's not going to do any, because of all our quest value, storing and all that crap, and checking and all that, it's not going to keep saying negative one zergling left, etc. And you can see the gold question mark. This is actually a bug with text tag, is once you find them once, even if they're set to fog of war true, they still show. They sh Once you've seen them once, they keep showing forever, which is weird. Maybe it'll be fixed soon. Um, so you come in range, and he rewards me with 10 minerals, and voila. Two quests done, and that's basically all I wanted to show. And um, I know it's quite complex, actually, but I did go through it quite slowly and explained everything. So once you get this down packed, you can pretty much pump out quests relatively quickly. Um, but it is a lot of grunt work, and you probably will end up making mistakes along the way. But um, if you get it right, then it's fun, and it's a good system, and each player has their own little quests, which work out well. So thanks for watching.